Yeah, what is up, Soul Fam? It's your boy Chris with Soldier of Life, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today is a very special episode. Do you know why? Because I got a nice message from Joe BG who says, Hey, you little f your video title says 50 facts under 10 minutes. You took more than 13 minutes. LOL. Well, goddamn it, Joe, we're gonna fix that today. Welcome to the second version of 50 cool, awesome, dope facts about Germany that you probably didn't know, and we're definitely gonna hit it under 10 minutes this time. I got you, Joe. Germans can be quite direct. Actually, they can be very direct, but if a German talks to you in a direct way that seems kind of rude, don't take it to offense. It's kind of a part of their culture. I've had it done to me like so many times, but just go with it, it's all good. They're not trying to be rude to you. Whatever you do, you do not want to make cheers with water. When you do so, it is basically like you are wishing death upon your drinking buddies and unless you're drinking with your mortal enemy, probably a no-no. In Germany, it's thought that when your dog dies and you bury him under your doorstep that your dog will come back and guard your house as a spirit or something. While it's probably normal for you wherever you are to talk to the mailman or the grocery store worker, in Germany, it's not really a thing. Do not talk to people that you don't really know. Germans are really big for knowing, not being fans of small talk, but I will talk to you anyway, I don't care. One thing Germans are known for is their privacy. So when you are talking to somebody or meeting somebody, do not greet them with a hug. Probably a handshake is good enough. And also when talking to them, try to keep our arms length away. Unless you don't know them at all in the store, then just walk up really close to them on the back of their neck while they're trying to check out. Germany hosts some of the world's largest festivals. These include Rock and Wing, Wacken Air Festival, and some other thing that I can't really pronounce, but I bet it's really huge. Including the Winter Games of 2014, Germany has won more than 1,680 medals, with about 547 of them being gold. Congrats. In Germany, a professional football, I say football because I'm in Europe, but a professional football game draws in an average crowd of 25,000 fans. The game of handball, which is basically like American stickball, but with your hands, throwing it back and forth with your hands, was created in Germany. Many Germans are active in sports clubs. In fact, one in three Germans is a member of the German Olympic Sports Federation. Now, one thing about German politics I never really understood, I can kind of break it down now. So the president Germany is head of state, but is basically there for ceremonial reasons and representation. The federal chancellor of Germany, we know who that is, is basically the one who acts as head of the government, but is nominated by the president and is elected by the federation or the parliament. The parliament. It's the parliament. Or the Bundestag. And the Bundestag is elected by the people. The most frequently used German name is Müller. Müller. Mula. Hope I'm saying it right. Johannes Gutenberg is the person that is famed for creating the printing press. This is the person that also created the Gutenberg Bible, which is one of the most rare and influential books of all time. Also, one of the first actual documented books created in 1455. Siemens AG is a huge multinational conglomerate, basically one of the largest engineering companies in Europe, and its origins came from back in the day when it was Siemens and Helsky, which grew largely from their success of building the world's first electric tram in 1881. The Zugspitze is Germany's highest mountain top, towering three kilometers above sea level. The Berlin Hauptbahnhof is Europe's largest train station, which was built in 2006, just in time for the World Cup. Football, soccer, whatever you want to call it, is obviously Germany's top sport. Duh. Schiltute is an old tradition that is still practiced in Germany. It's basically for children on the very first day of first grade where they get a big bag full of candies and treats and sweets and I don't know why because when mine goes to first grade, I'm gonna get her a bag full of rocks and tell her that life is hard. I'll see you when you get home. Mattel came up with a Barbie doll version of Angela Mo Carroll for their 50th anniversary. The brand of most taxis in Germany are either a Mercedes or an Audi. The 1963 comedy, A Dinner for One, is basically a tradition for Germans to watch on New Year's Eve. I still haven't watched that movie, so don't get at me. Send me a link or tell me where I can download it for the free. The Deutsch Currywurst Museum in Berlin is basically a museum that is dedicated to currywurst. Like, it's basically dedicated to currywurst. In 1806, Napoleon defeated the Prussian and Saxony armies in the Battle of Jena-Augstadt. 
If I can even say that right, I probably didn't. Hamburg is known as the Venice of the North. The Reichstag building is home to the German Bundestag and is the most visited parliament in the world. The first magazine ever seen was in Germany in 1663. The first book that was ever printed that I told you earlier, the Johannes Bible, is still able to be seen till this day in Mainz, Germany. Smoking is banned in public areas in Germany, but you can still get your drink on in public legally. There are more football clubs in Germany than anywhere else in the world. Toilet paper in Germany has the consistency of paper towel in America. Yeah, it hurts. It really hurts. Holocaust denial is either implicitly or explicitly a crime in 17 countries, including Germany and Austria. One quick fact in case you didn't know, the Berlin Wall fell in 1989. The last Olympic Games that were held in Germany were in 1972 and crazy fact is on these Olympic Games the Israeli team was captured and taken hostage and later killed by terrorists. When JFK famously visited Germany in 1963 when he got off the plane he yelled out Ich bin ein Berliner which basically means I'm a jelly donut but everybody kind of knew what he means. He was a jelly donut. German is spoken by over 100 million people worldwide. I'm gonna be the next one. The Deutsche Fußballbund was founded in 1900 in Leipzig. In 2019, Angela was at the top of the list for the most powerful women in the world. Aspen was officially created in Germany in 1899. William Conrad Röntgen discovered x-rays in Germany in 1895. More than a quarter of all Americans claim German ancestry. There are about 60 different dialects of the German language. There's a custom in Germany when two people get married, the bride is kidnapped by friends before the wedding and taken to different taverns, and the groom must hunt for her. And upon looking for her, he has to buy all the friends drinks before they are married. Dachau concentration camp was opened in 19. 33, which is actually seven years before World War II even started. The world's largest four-legged walking robot comes from Firth M. Wald called Drakenstift. <laughs> Germans consume more pork than any other meat. The coffee filter was created in Germany in 1908. Crazy fact, the design for the Nazi uniforms was created by Hugo Boss. Think about that when you watch your next magazine, you smell it with a little, when they got the little scratchy thing. Hugo's got some really good smells though. The word Germany dates back to Julius Caesar where he dubbed the lands on the east of the Rhine River as Germania. Germany's most popular snack is the donut kebab, which was brought over by Turkish immigrants after the war and created in Berlin. The Sleeping Beauty Castle was inspired by the Neuschweinstein Castle. Neuschwein, Neuschweinstein, Neusch. Neuschwanstein Castle. Neuschwanstein. Neuschwanstein. Crazy fact, Hitler's life was actually spared by a British soldier during World War I. Nobody knows what happened if he, uh, that British guy wasn't so nice, eh? Hitler never visited a concentration camp. Munich is the most expensive city in Germany to live in. Oktoberfest has been canceled 24 times. Time! Did I get it? Of course I got it, of course I did. So first off, I wanna thank you for watching this video in its entirety. If you learned anything from this video, or if you wanna see me do more stuff like this that you might not know so we can pop it out like this, go ahead and give the video a like, share it if you want, that's cool. But the most important thing, Joe BG, I hope I did you service, I hope I made it under some minutes, and I hope you could appreciate it. I definitely did it for you. I did it my best, I gave it my all, and we in here, we're here now. So that's all I got for you guys today. I definitely appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video.